Hello, friends. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining us. Today and this week, we have been working on Seco de Mayo recipes. You'll find on our channel our recipes for the pepper sauce, for the crema, and for the pork carnitas. Today, we are working on black beans. These black beans have lots of flavor. You'll want to hang out with me and see what we add to these to make them delicious. We have a lot of vegetables to get cut, so let's get to cutting. We'll start off with two onions. How simple was that? We'll now add one and a half green peppers. That was a quick chop. We're going to now chop our poblano. Where's the poblano? There it is. Next, we need to chop our jalapenos. We will be using three jalapenos in this, but we're not using this one. Funny story. Um, I was ordering groceries from the store and um, I ordered one jalapeno. I was for another recipe. Um, and I didn't notice that LB behind it. I got one pound of jalapenos. Come to find out, these are super easy to freeze. I just uh, de-seeded it, put it on a cookie sheet, stuck it in my freezer, and when they froze, they of course were individual and I threw them into a bag to use with other recipes. So that's an idea for you guys if you happen to make the same bonehead mistake that I did. Let's chop these up. Sure made quick work of that. Now we have about 12 cloves of garlic. Yeah, I know that's a lot, but we got a lot of beans. We're going to get this chopped up. That was easy as well, but kind of sticky. My goodness, that was a lot of veggie chopping. We're going to get the burner and we're going to bring these black beans to life. Start by adding olive oil to a large Dutch oven. You can also cook this in a slow cooker or an Instapot. Also, you can do the same recipe using canned beans. I'll tell you at the end how to do that. So I am adding, it's coming out kind of slow, about probably four tablespoons of olive oil. We've got a lot of veggie, veggies to saute. So we will start with our peppers and onion. And you're just going to saute this until your onions are translucent or beginning to get translucent. You don't want to overcook them because remember, we're going to be putting some beans in here. Mix these all in. How beautiful is that? There's nothing no prettier than veggies other than flour. Look. I'm going to add a little bit more oil to this. And again, we've got a lot of beans here, so we'll be fine with this. I'm not going to make them greasy by no means. We're going to now make a little clearing here for our garlic to land. Watch that garlic now. You don't want it to burn. The aroma in this kitchen right now, it is just fabulous. Brown that garlic a little bit. Then I'm going to stir this all in and uh, we'll start adding some spices to the mix. Now we need to add the spices. We'll be toasting these a little before we add those things. I am going to remove my salt and my bay leaves as I will be adding them a little bit later. So in goes the kunum, the black pepper, the um, smoked paprika, Okay, you will toast these spices, and you'll know when they're toasted, okay, because the smell um, will get better, even more better than what it is now. And let me tell you, this kitchen is going to smell fabulous. I may have to get a sandwich. I'm hungry already. Okay, we are going to be adding a quarter cup of white wine, not white wine vinegar, white wine. You know, what was left over from last night. We'll let that alcohol cook off a little. And um, then we're going to finish this up. We will now start adding our black beans. 
these black beans were soaked overnight. I put a little bit of baking powder in it. Baking powder breaks down the pectin and lets the beans cook a little bit faster. Holy moly, that's a bunch of beans. We will be freezing some of these. They make really excellent weeknight meals to just pull from the freezer. Now we will start adding our liquid. I'm adding some vegetable stock that I had had left over in the fridge. You could use chicken stock. You could use veggie stuff. Am I using veggie? Yes, yeah, I'm using veggie. You could use chicken. You could use um, pork would be really good. We'll be using the vegetable, and then I'll be using also some chicken bouillon. Bouillon. Time to add the water. I have a lot going in here. We're talking like eight cups. Um, if you don't have this many beans, you're not going to have this much. And I'm only going to add what I need of this. And it's not some um, heck. Let's just give her it all. We will now add some white vinegar. With any dried bean that I cook, I always add some white vinegar. Also, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. Um, again, if you haven't heard this in my previous videos, if you cook something and it doesn't taste like your grandmother's, it's because she put a pinch of sugar in everything that she cooked. So here's to the grandmothers out there. Just mix these up. We are going to be putting a lid on this, um, bringing it to a boil first, um, then putting a lid on it and reducing it to simmer. Should take about two, two and a half hours for this to cook. Um, but before we let her start getting happy, we do need to add some salt. So I have quite a bit of salt here. Um, I will have the directions um, and the recipe in the description. And it will be for only one pound because most people do not cook as many beans as I have here. And I wanted you to be able to use this recipe. Um, you can also double it, which I have done. And let's add some bay leaves. Again, another stir, stir. Okay, our beans have come to a boil. Um, guys, I'm going to cut this down on simmer. Um, make sure you have some water nearby. Check your beans often um, as they may get dry and need more water. And let her eat. It took us about two and a half hours for these beans to get tender. And look at them. They are like black pearls. We'll be serving them with rice tonight, um, but you can guarantee that we will be having these with tacos on Seco de Mayo. Um, as I had stated in the beginning, I had stated I would let you know how to do this with um, canned beans. You'll do everything just as I did in the video, except for you won't have to soak those beans and you won't have the long cook time on it. Um, if you do it with a can, you will want to saute your vegetables longer. You will need those to be tender. They will not be cooking for two hours after you have already sauteed them. I'm going to taste these as with any recipe. A cook has to see how it tastes before they serve it. I will be squirting just a little bit of lime over top of mine. You can do that or you don't have to, whatever you prefer. Look at those veggies in there. It's going to be so good. Mm. Those are good. I'd put these up for competition against any of your beans. But I do want to know about your beans. Tell me what you um, do with your black beans um, or what you'll be doing um, for Seco de Mayo. Put it in comments. If you have any recipes you want to share, I love Mexican food. Please put those there as well. And we're going to go eat. Um, please, if you found this video to be helpful, um, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Also, check out our other um, Seco de Mayo recipes on our site and hit notifications so that you'll get all of our videos as they post. Thank you for hanging out with me. And until next time, stir the pot.